Hey, what is going on guys? You are watching Matt the Musketeer and today I have a pretty cool gameplay for you. Now this is a 64 man game of Conquest on Talahar Market. Now I know what a lot of you guys might be thinking, this is unusual gameplay for you to post. I know I hardly ever play A, 64 man servers and B, if I'm playing Aftermath, I pretty much don't play Conquest. I just seem to play scavenger mode because I don't know what it is, I just seem to orientate towards scavenger mode every time I go on one of these maps. So um, it is unusual gameplay for me. But there is a reason why I was on this game mode, especially 64 man, I normally stick away from that like the plague. But yesterday I was lucky enough to squad up with a couple of guys that you may or may not heard of. I was in a squad with Level Cap and the Squirrels Nuts, and we played a few games. I was in a couple of games with them on the Aftermath maps. We were on this one on Talahar Market, and then we were on another 64 man conquest game on Epicenter. Now both of those games are pretty long, so I'll cut them down. This one is just the first game. I've cut it down pretty short. It was like a 20 minute long game. Now at first I was pretty scared about joining in this 64 man game on Conquest for two reasons. As I said, I hardly ever play 64 man games. And I don't think I've actually played Conquest on these maps before yet, especially this map. I only play or seem to have played scavenger mode. So there's a lot of hurdles to jump over in one go, but it was quite a fun game. I think I got about 24 for five in the end, something like that. So, you know, wasn't a crazy high score like a uh, level cap, but it was still a pretty fun game. Now, I had actually just kind of been chilling out on my couch, on my iPad, when I saw a tweet come through from the Squirrels Nuts saying he was about to jump on a live stream and play some Battlefield 3. Now, I've had the Squirrels Nuts on Battlelog for about a year, maybe actually a little bit over a year now. We both used to play often together when we both used to be on PlayStation 3 back in the day. And then he bought a gaming PC, or at least he moved back onto a gaming PC. And I was still on the PlayStation. And then when I did move onto um, the PC platform, he'd already begun playing things like DayZ and Wasteland, so... It's actually been a very long time since I played any Battlefield 3 with the Squirrels Nuts. So I jumped at the opportunity to try and have a game with uh, with Squirrel once again. So I jumped onto Battlelog and managed to get into the game. Now I realised that was pretty lucky because every game we seemed to join seemed to fill up pretty much straight away as everyone was trying to follow Level Cap and the Squirrels Nuts into these different games. So to be in the same squad and the same team was pretty cool. And some of the things I kind of noticed while I was playing these 64 man games, these were quite a, an eye opener for the 64 man games really because as I said I don't normally kind of stick with them and play them quite a lot. We played, I must have played at least 40 minutes of 64 man games and I did actually realize that although you might get killed quite a few times, you do actually get quite long kill streaks because as long as you're sticking with the majority of your team, you seem to get revived every single time you die. You might have seen the way I've edited this video down. I've actually cut large sections of single lives out where I think the, my first life in the game, I lived for about 10 minutes straight because as long as you're moving around with the pack of your team, like the whole 32 players of your team, there always seems to be obviously someone there to revive you so you can actually do really well on these games even though sometimes I used to avoid them because I used to think it was going to be a massive clusterfuck which don't get me wrong some of these parts in these games were a serious clusterfuck but if you're moving around with your team like this look boom double revive straight away there if you're with people in your team you seem to be able to you know constantly get back to your feet sometimes whether or not that is a good thing there is actually something very funny that happened in this video coming up in this next clip now i actually try and run up into this garage to try and revive level cap i run into the room and oh i don't know if you spotted that let's see it again there is actually an enemy stood in the corner there teabagging him so i managed to run into the room revive him whilst he was being teabagged not spot the enemy, turn around, try and, I don't know why I tried to revive him again or try and defibrillate the enemy, I can't remember which. He gets killed, I get myself killed, and then someone does eventually come to our rescue. But um, yeah, I managed to uh, revive level cat whilst he was being teabagged. He didn't seem uh, too impressed by that, so if you ever do watch this video and get to this point, I do want to apologise for that, it was pretty bad. I'm trying to write my apology in the top corner there, you can probably see. But hey ho, never mind, it makes a quite funny gameplay, so that is the main thing. Now I did manage to record a couple of the games from this live stream on Monday night with these guys, so if you guys want to see any more footage from Level Cap, the Squirrels Nuts and myself, then give me a like and a comment below and all that stuff, it does help me out a lot. And during the week I will actually have some Bad Company 2 gameplay up for you guys. I haven't played that for a long time, but I was gifted it for my birthday for a PC on Steam. So I have had a couple of games on that recently and been slowly getting back into it. So um, stay tuned for some Bad Company 2 during the week, guys. But in the meantime, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.